Investors will be watching the pair of housing estate pursuits for signs that higher interest rates are slowing the market. July price figures from S&P on Tuesday are expected to show a slowdown in year-over-year -year price gains, although forecasters still see a gain of 17.3%. A government report on August of new home sales is expected to show a 2.2% decline. The head of the world's largest movie theater chain is joining the call for a four-day work week. Posting on Twitter, AMC CEO Adam Aaron said it would be good for theaters if every weekend were a three-day weekend. Good morning, we 25 and 55 on WCBS. I'm Greenberg, Susanna Palmer. Mom, that summer vacation way quickly and reset your metabolism with NJ Diet. NJ Diet uses technology that consists of hair and saliva sampling to customize the personal weight loss. When did I'm Holland Tunnel in great shape? Traffic and friends at every 10 minutes on the ones and breaking traffic alerts whenever they happen. I'm Rebecca Mazzaro, Sam, 10 10 with your work week with the AccuWeather four day forecast courtesy meteorologist Carl Levinsky. Early Sunday night, we dealt with some very rough weather in the tri state area. A series of showers and heavier thunderstorms rolled through, producing large hail, some flooding, and perhaps a tornado that has not been confirmed yet near Manitowoc on eastern Long Island. But the National Weather Service later today may be surveying damage out there to determine whether or not a tornado did in fact touch down. There will be areas of standing water to contend with early this morning. Flood waters that will slowly recede. Our lows will be in the upper 50s. Later today, there should be a fair amount of sun and a gusty breeze. Any shower this afternoon will be confined to areas north and west of the city, the high 74. Turning out clear tonight, low 58. Dry tomorrow and for much of the rest of the week. While we'll be in the lower 70s tomorrow, Wednesday will be brisk and a bit cooler, high 69. Thursday's high 65. I'm actually with a meteorologist, Kara Babinski, on New York's weather station, 1010 10 winds. Currently 60 degrees in Allendale, 60 degrees. There's also 60, partly cloudy in Midtown. Means these times 133. Attention, do you owe back taxes, fines, and penalties to the IRS? The IRS now offers new relief options for... Influential conversations from Bloomberg Television. Here's Tom McKenzie. Now, stocks and U.S. equity futures extended declines at the end of a week that underscored expectations for tighter monetary policy and a slowing global economy. Joining us for more analysis is Saxo Bank founder and CEO, David Cornet. It's very pleased to say joining us in the studio. Tim, good morning. Thank you for joining us. What is your view on how the markets have been reacting in the days and weeks ahead? Well, we have a situation that's 